What's up everyone, Wes here with another two minute tip Tuesday video on renovation education. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a clutch on a drill, what they are and why do we even need to use one. So let's get going. So not all drills have a clutch. As you can see, my drill's got a hammer drill setting, a drill bit setting, and a screw setting. So I have three different settings. We wanna make sure we're on the screw, and the clutch is what kind of, it kind of acts like a torque wrench. This will allow you to change the torque that you put onto that screw, whether you can put it on the max torque, which is very strong, it could really drive a screw deep, or you can put it on the lowest setting and it will barely even move a screw. So why is this good? If you have, say, a big screw, like a lag bolt or something, you're trying to get in a wall, uh, this could be dangerous. These could actually like snap your wrist if you're drilling and you catch, it could really turn and you could really hurt your wrist. So if you lower the torque setting, you don't necessarily have to worry about it grabbing and catching and going crazy on you. Another example before I show you is when I assemble a lot of furniture as like Target or Ikea furniture, I like to use a clutch on this and really tone it down because they don't recommend you use a screw gun because they know these are powerful and the torque applied to that screw could drive too deep into that wood and split it and crack it. So if you put a lower setting on your clutch here, it will not over tighten that screw and it won't drive it very deep. You can see here, I can even hold it and that's what prevents it from over tightening. If I put this on the, the max setting, there will be no way I could hold that. So let's go ahead and give you an example. Turn it to screw mode and turn on my clutch to the maximum setting. It might make it all the way in, it might not, we'll find out. You heard the clutch engaging a little bit there, so now let's turn it down to the lowest setting and we'll see the difference here. See, there you go, just like that. Now that is preventing the screw from going in too far and over tightening. If I turn it to 60 here, it went a little bit further. Need a clutch on a drill? No, but if you are in the market, I would highly recommend getting a nice drill that has a clutch on there so you don't over tighten screws. So I hope you liked today's two minute tip video on a drill clutch and kind of what they are, what they're used for. So we hope you liked this video, dislike it if you didn't, leave a comment down below of other tips or tricks you want me to do. And we will see you Friday for our tool review Friday. I'll be reviewing a different tool that's odd here and there. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see more. All right, we'll see you later.